Okay, here we are, Matthew Russell Lee, Inner City Press, here in Foley Square, across from the Southern District of New York Courthouse. We're covering, today could be, today is the closing arguments in U.S. versus Donnell Russell. He's the manager, associate of R. Kelly, on trial for allegedly being the one to have phoned in a gun threat to the screening of Lifetime's Surviving R. Kelly. Uh, his lawyer, Mr. Friedman, in from California, says they haven't shown that it was him. They, he was calling the theater about copyright violations. Copyright violations. So very. Not. I, I say that because they're used. Uh, alleged copyright violations are used for such things. I got a leak in the UN of a uh, major wire service reporter lobbying the UN to get Inner City Press thrown out. Published it, and Google removed it from search as allegedly violating the copyright of the writer. By that logic, of course, uh, all leaks are copyrighted. In any event, we have an ambulance behind us, but it doesn't matter. We're going to go forward. Uh, yesterday, there was a conference in Jufre versus Dershowitz. And Dershowitz has been ordered to produce his tax returns, but he doesn't want to. And so he's willing to withdraw his claim of economic loss, but it's too late. Judge Preska said, you must produce the tax returns. Meanwhile, yes, it's a crisis. Meanwhile, uh, a lawyer is flying to Perth, Australia to finish a deposition of Jufre. So that case is coming along, and we're going to cover that one as well. We're covering Josh Schulte. We didn't get the email. Shout out, whistleblowers. Anyone that wrote in about that case and has had the thing thrown in the garbage, send it to Inner City Press. Uh, we have some other things to report about the court, but I have to say this. Today, I, it may have already happened uh, while I was on the subway, but I will say this. The U.N. is very proud of itself. It failed on Ukraine. In fact, it tried to cover up the invasion. Antonio Guterres did. Now, from his vacation, he's supposedly in Istanbul for a signing ceremony. The New York Times wrote a story saying that last week after, in Istanbul, he told reporters that it was almost technically done. Can't find that quote, and he wasn't in Istanbul. But we're going to be covering it. Inner City Press, we go forward.